All right, let's talk about uh, the uh, Eucharistic miracles. So this is in 750 AD, okay? This is Lanciano, Italy. Okay, and so after we saw the shroud, two days later, we were in Lanciano. And, um, and what happened in Lanciano in 750, it was a priest, uh, like many Catholics today, who wasn't sure about the uh, transubstantiation, that it really was the real presence of body, soul, divinity, blood and, uh, blood and body of, of our Lord. And right in front of the congregation, the uh, host turned into tissue. Now remember, this is 750 AD, so they didn't have microscopes in those days. So it turned into tissue, and it was then finally examined in 1971. Uh, turned into tissue, and the chalice, the, the, the wine in the chalice, turned into blood. Type A blood. Type AB blood. AB, just like in the shroud. And just like every other Eucharistic, every Eucharistic miracle has type AB blood. Well, then an Italian professor, Dr. Linoli, in 1971, did studies of this. And actually, the World Health Organization validated his studies. And they came up with the following conclusion that, number one, this is heart tissue, which again, in every Eucharistic miracle, it's heart tissue, every one type AB blood, and uh, it's complicated, but basically there's five globules of blood, which still appears to be fresh. Now, again, this is 1,300 years later, and it's the uh, underneath layers still appears, appears fresh. Same with the flesh. It still appears fresh. And, uh, and the five together weigh the same as five separately. Now, I don't understand that, but that's just the facts, and it was validated by, um, validated by um, the uh, World Health Organization. So, that's, so, so again, we saw this two days later. Physicians, if anything, were pretty good at pattern recognition. So I start seeing a pattern, type AB blood, <laughs> heart tissue. It's like, hmm, I see, I, I see a pattern. So, so then you start looking at the other... Um, <clears throat> You start looking at the other miracles. So, so Lanciano, 750 AD, then Buenos Aires in Argentina in 1996. And uh, there is a uh, bishop of Argentina that oversaw that, our current pope. Um, and then Sokolka, Poland in 2008, and Texcala, Mexico in 2006. So we'll go through them. So this is the Eucharistic miracle of Lanciano. Again, it has not decayed in 12 centuries. Electrophoresis of proteins and serum match the profile of fresh blood. And again, World Health Organization in 1976 confirmed these same findings. So these are, these are skeptics. These aren't, you know, Catholic physicians validating it. So here's the transformation of the host. In, and this is, the, this is what it looks like in 1996. So in all these cases, what happens is a host falls to the ground. And as you know, you put it in water and, and, and it should dissolve. Well, in some cases, it doesn't dissolve. In some cases, it gets a red spot. In some cases, it, it, the red spot then becomes tissue. And we have these three in 1996, 2008, and 2006. So the most famous one, the first start of it is 1996. Um, it was sent to several labs and finally sent to Columbia University uh, and it was sent to this famous pathologist, cardiologist named uh, Zubigi. And his contention, so they didn't tell him where this sample came from. He said, this is a live heart. How did you get this? He didn't know it was from a host. And since it's because it has white cells, and again, it's technical, but white cells don't live outside the body more than about 30 minutes, okay? And in all three of these cases, the, it's the, the white cells are still alive. So he said, so how did you get this, this heart was taken alive when the sample was taken? What is more, the white cells had penetrated the heart tissue, which shows that it's under stress. You know, it's inflammatory response. The white cells get, get inside the, the muscle of the heart. Um, there's no possible way for this tissue to have been faked without torturing a person, removing tissue from a beating heart, would thereby kill him. This is from 
they, they didn't tell him where it came from. He said, how'd you get this? How'd you get a live beating heart? And a report sent out on March 26, 2005. And when he was told that the specimen came from a consecrated host, I, I do not believe it. This is a world-known scientist, uh, physician, expert. I don't believe it. 